This is a short presentation about the memoir, which is a true story told slant. In this assignment, which is the first assignment of the semester, a flash memoir, we're inviting you to begin researching, writing, and inventing. And as we noted in the video, Choosing an Issue, we want you to use the flash memoir to begin to explore your issue by narrating an event or exploring a memory, something that happened to you that connects you to your issue something that helps to explain why the issue is important to you or worth investigating. Because we're asking you to write a memoir, we mean that we want you to explore your experience, the experience that connects you with the issue, in a personal, narrative way. So what is a memoir? A memoir explores memory in such a way that it leads to discovery of significance or meaning, which can then be connected to the experiences insights, empathy, and ideas of others. A memoir doesn't tell the story of a life, rather it explores a story or stories from a life, as Barrington said in writing the memoir. This means that it's selective, it's specific. In a memoir, in the words of Brenda Miller and Suzanne Paola, the writer can mine the past, examining it for shape and meaning, in the belief that from that act, a larger communal meaning can emerge. Now you might ask, what is the slant in a story told slant? If a memoir comes from memory, shouldn't its business be in telling the truth? The term tell it slant comes from a poem by Emily Dickinson which begins, tell all the truth, but tell it slant. She says that truth must be told in, quote, circuit, unquote, rather than in a straight line, and that it's like lightning. The truth must dazzle gradually, or every man be blind. Really what she's telling us is that we use the elements of story to get at the truths we have to offer or, does, or the discoveries we make. Rather than preaching directly, we involve the readers in our stories, our details, using the elements of story to do so. As a memoirist, you have the elements of story at your disposal in order to create a narrative thread which will allow the reader to enter your worldview. You can create scenes or use summary or exposition and you can muse or reflect on the experience you're representing and you have decisions to make about the narrator who will tell the story and what point of view you will use the first second or third person perspective what characters will be or should be in the memoir and why what descriptions might be what might you use to create a sense of your story world and what dialogue will you use and finally what will your voice sound like how will your readers hear you? You might be asking yourself, okay, so a memoir, and okay, so a slant approach to truth-telling, and fine, yes, I'm a storyteller, not a preacher. Now what is the flash in the flash memoir? I'm so glad you asked. Flash connotes brief. It's brief because it's quick, and it's quick because it's compressed. It's usually about a thousand words or less that focuses on a particular image examining the significance of an event uh, or an experience in the writer's life. The art of the form is in the succinct yet creative way that the narrative unfolds the significance of the event or experience. It is tightly focused with no extraneous words and it mines its central image in ways that create metaphorical significance. The language is fresh, lyrically surprising, hinged on the workings of imagination. Let me conclude by adding that we see this flash memoir as the beginning of your research process. You'll be connecting your experience to this consideration of your issue. We want you to find sources to anchor and give context to your memoir. We believe that a little bit of research, the beginning of this research process for the semester, will help you discover new dimensions to both your experience and your investigation into your issue. We want you to begin to deepen and to thicken your understandings and we're excited to see what you come up with.